Hello! Um, we're trying something new. So, welcome. <laughs> this is the Nutty Nitty Sisters. Um, my name is Judith. I'm Julie. And uh, we are sisters in the state of Maine. This is a knitting or fiber related video podcast thing. <laughs> and we are trying something new. We are going naked podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no editing. Ooh. No editing. Way to put that in the test. <laughs> <laughs> Got them all excited with naked podcasts and then <laughs> disappointment. Can you imagine the bot? Oh, we're gonna good now. Lord, I know, I know. I shouldn't have done that. Of course, first first non-edited podcast, and I mentioned naked. <laughs> we just lost 400 subscribers. Did we have 400? 422. <laughs> wow. We'll have 22 left. Oh, Lord. Um, so, if you are a subscriber, thank you for coming back. We hope you don't go anywhere after that opening. Um, and if you're a new subscriber... Think, or if you haven't subscribed, we would love for you to subscribe. Um, yeah. And this is rough, but we're <laughs> going to do it non-edited. Um, so, Julie, what have you been up to since our last podcast? Work, work, and more work. <laughs> you are the poster child for a workaholic. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I closed the shop down, that, so the physical shop presence is gone, and I haven't dedicated any time really yet to updating the website. Um, Etsy still has me on vacation and will not let me come out, so... <laughs> Permanent vacation! <laughs> woo, woo So, my hope is within the next couple of weeks, first part of March, somewhere along that line, to have some updates made to the website, and so anything that I'll be selling, it will be through my website. Very good. Very good. Yep. So officially moved out. Mm-hmm. Good deal. How are the chickens? Chickens are okay. I have another sick, oh, sick girl. No. I don't know. They, it just sporadically, one will get sick, and sometimes they recover, and sometimes they don't. I only have two hands left, and I think they're getting cook fever. Mm. What's that? <laughs> like cabin fever. They're oh. going crazy. Oh, because you haven't been letting them out. Yeah. 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 It's been too bitter cold, so right. we've just been leaving them in the coop, and yeah, I think they're going a little stir crazy. <laughs> yeah. My girls are happy. They're they're laying eggs again, so. Oh, mine are. They're well beyond yeah. that age. <laughs> <laughs> like me. No more eggs in this cooker. <laughs> Good, good. Um, Thank you. We've been kind of busy. Um, Kayla started a new job. Yay. Um, she got done at the convenience store, and she went to work for a cellular store, cellular service store. Um, so she's a nine-to-fiver now. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she loves it so far. <laughs> um, she is off for the rest of the week. They had a employee-confirmed positive with COVID, so she is off for the week. Mm. Um, so we both got test kits, um, and she we tested today. We both tested negative. Um, I have to test before I go back to the office. That's another life event, March 1st, officially back in the office. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. 50% of the month, so oh. I can pick and choose the days, just I have to be half here, half there. So, mm. um, yeah, so... That was an experience doing the self COVID <laughs> test. <laughs> um, what else? I think that's it. Oh, we had a nice visit last week with mom. My mm -hmm. mom came over and we did some diamond painting together. I haven't diamond painted in forever, so that was fun. And oh, coming up Monday. Is it this Monday? Yes, this Monday. Miss Dillon is going to be receiving her birthday present. Her birthday was on December 23rd, and for her birthday, she got JoJo Siwa concert tickets. Oh! So her and Mama are going to go to Portland and nice. see JoJo. So Lincoln's going to come and spend the day with Mama, uh, with Nana. Nice. And I think Grandpa is going to take him 
to the jumping place, the trampoline oh, yeah. park. He Trampoline's loves park. the jumping place. So <laughs> that is, that's my life. That's about it. Nice. It's exciting, right? Yep. No. <laughs> <laughs> so admin stuff. Um, I wrote a few things down because I actually prepared for this because I knew we were going to non-edit <laughs> and we were going to be scrunched for time. Um, so yeah, no edit, more video. Hopefully we will be able to do more videos without editing because it takes me, because I'm an over perfectionist, <laughs> it takes me three or four days to edit the videos, um, you know, grab, type up show notes and grab links to everything. And then to upload an hour long video, it takes like 13 hours <laughs> on my Wi-Fi. So um, hopefully this, by not editing the videos, we'll be able to produce more videos. What do you think? Yes. Play it by ear. Um, uh, we're going to resurrect Ravelry. We haven't done, I haven't put show notes, show notes in our Ravelry group in forever. Oh, yeah. So we're going to resu <clears throat> resurrect the Ravelry group because I would like to go, I would like to offer a little bit more to our viewers, do some, you know, contest and that sort of thing. And I think the easiest way to do that is either through comments here or through comments on Ravelry because the comments on Ravelry are numbered. So we're going to resurrect that and hopefully get some more people on our Ravelry group. Um, other than that, we had no trip in February. No, nope. We were supposed to do our crank in and that didn't happen because mother nature decided to blow her mm -hmm. dandruff all over us. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen in April. But, yeah. but we do have an adventure tomorrow. We do have an adventure tomorrow. <laughs> What's our adventure tomorrow, Julie? We are going to good karma tomorrow. Yes. And I'm getting my CSM. Yes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> We're going to crank out some socks. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll have myself somewhat up to speed at least by the time the cranking comes in April. Yeah. You'll be able to practice a bit? Yeah. I hope so. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Are we doing any interview or anything with them on that on this trip tomorrow? Or no, just I... picking up the the CSM. Just pick up the CSM, I think. I think it makes more sense to do the interview at the Crankin. Yeah. There'll be people you know, and yeah. More, yeah. More footage. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. I agree. All right. So that's that. Um, shout outs. Do you have any shout outs, Julie? Mm. Any new podcast you're watching or any things on Instagram that have grasped your heart oh yeah. yeah well that'll wait until we get to the plunder portion of the podcast because yeah. yeah that's where i'll have some shout outs yeah that's where i'm gonna take a nap and just <laughs> pass the torch to jules <laughs> um i have been watching um some cool some very good podcasts lately um i actually caught the grocery girls live which oh. was so exciting i usually watch them after the fact and I did catch them live but it, the live kind of spilled over into a conference call so I had oh. to mute them and just watch <laughs> them show all the beautiful yarns um and then um there's a podcast called Needles at the Ready um Kevin and Ray they are a knitting duo out of Connecticut and they are so much fun <laughs> you can just tell they have so much fun with fiber they are hilarious <laughs> i just have absolutely loved watching them i they've come up in my recommended a couple of times and i haven't i, I don't i usually watch what i'm subscribed to you know mm -hmm. and i don't always you know get to do the recommended thing but um i was caught up on my subscriptions so I went ahead and clicked on them and I, it was the most recent video. I loved them. So of course, as I always do, <laughs> went all the way back to the beginning and now I'm binge watching their entire two years of, of vlog casting. So mm. that has been fun. And then, um, my final shout out is, um, if you, if you haven't caught her, um, her, there's a girl named, uh, Raina Tremel, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, we met her at, um, 
Rhinebeck. Okay. Very sweet um, lady with, she had a green Illuminate on. And she came down and talked to us. I'm trying to picture. Short hair glasses. Mm. Um, she <laughs> has a YouTube channel called It's Raining Crafts. And she hasn't been on in a long time, a couple of months. And she did a, a quick little video today, uh, or today or yesterday, I think it was yesterday, that I commented on. Um, she is just such a sweet, sweet soul. She's very precious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, she mentioned in, in her video that she had been kind of feeling down, and that's why she hadn't oh. been on. So if you would, please go give Miss Raina a thumbs up. Hmm. Um, her, her, if you search for it's raining crafts, you should find her. Um, the spelling of raining is normal. Or? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, but yeah, just go and give her a thumbs up or a positive comment. Just something to brighten her day would be love. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So on to the knitting. How many FOs do you have? Mm. <laughs> that deer in the headlight look. <laughs> <laughs> on the spot, Jules, on the spot. Um, shoot. I, I, actual on needles, whips, I probably have a total of like seven. But FOs? <clears throat> Do you have any FOs? Hmm, I didn't bring my FOs. <laughs> Why would you bring FOs to a knitting podcast? <laughs> I know it's a, it's a strange, strange What a concept. Thing. I know. <laughs> I know. I forgot to put that in the memo. Yeah. You'll have to visit my Instagram. There we go. Um, I posted recently the, the soul warming. Yeah. Or, or was, is that what they're called? Soul yeah. warming? Yeah. S-O-L-E warming socks, I yeah. think. Yeah. And, oh, I love them. Yeah. I love them. They just look squishy. They're so cozy. And, um, I... And DK, right? Yeah. I knit them with, um... Uh, Granite State Yarns DK sock set. Um, I think it's called Glorious Christmas. Um, beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, and it worked out just great for that pattern. Uh, I did <laughs> play some yarn chicken and lost. Oh no! I got down to both. like the toe of the second sock. And I ran out of the red. Oh, um, oh you, we, we thought you might, right? We yeah, talked, but she, I was pretty sure I would. She sent you some more, she right? She did. I've reached out to Lauren. She's such a sweetheart. Um, I thought maybe if she just had like a random leftover mini even of yeah. that red color, which is a beautiful red color. It's called Randy. I don't, I don't think it's in her shop. I don't. She might have it again around Christmas time. I'm not sure, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous red. Um, I'll tell you a little side story about Randy in a minute. Uh oh. <laughs> um, but she had nothing left except her leftovers from her um, her sample knit that she did. Oh. And she sent me her red and her green leftovers oh, from her sample knit. Oh, sweet. That was so sweet. And yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Big old heart. <laughs> and I just loved that red so much that I asked her if she would take a custom order. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we'll, we'll, we'll see that. <laughs> we'll get there when we do the plunder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my Lord. So that's the only real FO, FO that I've had for, for a while. Um, I have whips now. I have the um, sweetheart socks that are my current active whip, and I let's see. I'm on the heel for that first sock for that, um, and that is with Moonglow Yarn Co. and Julianne Knitter, which is Twin Stitches. Um, they're doing a knit along for the sweethearts. Or no, yep. Knitty Natty. I'm Knitty sorry. Natty. Yeah. Knitty Natty. Yeah. Um, is doing a knit along for those socks. The, the Sweetheart Socks pattern <laughs> is Knitty Natty's and there's a Sweetheart Socks set by Moon Glow Yarn Co. And, but that's a whip, right? Did you bring that? <clears throat> that's a whip. Yep. Okay. All right. We'll do, we'll, 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 we'll get to whips. Yeah. 
That's the the socks for the FO. That's it. That's yeah. You need to stop working so much and knit more. I know. <laughs> it's it's hard. I do have a lot of meetings during the day, but I'm always the facilitator of yeah. those meetings. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm lucky. I'm not. I get to sit and knit. Yeah. And I have meetings. Um, I have a couple of FOs, um, not all knitting, so I do have two that are sewing FOs, um, maybe, <laughs> um, so I had, I had cut up a bunch of fabric to make some, just some super simple drawstring project bags, and this one has orange on the inside because the orange was supposed to be on the outside, but Judith put it on the inside. <laughs> And that's why the outside is puckered. Anywho, it's very pretty outer fabric. Sure, it is it's even prettier with the orange on the outside. But well, yeah. That's all right. <laughs> so they're not. They're like there's no interfacing. They're not fancy. They're, they're just, just throw them in your bag super and go. Bags. Simple. That one's like a sock sack size, and most of them are this size. Um, and then I had one that was a larger one. So that one's got a double draw. And little handles. little handles there. So yeah. that's my sewing. The the rope I got to make the drawstring is a little too big. It worked okay for these. I was able to get two on this one. I was only able to get one through on this one. So I'm gonna have to get some thinner cord. But I got some sewing done. Yeah. Um, and then this isn't really an FO, but I have a basket full of dishcloths. Mm. I've had these for a while and there's a bunch on the bottom that are this color. This is made out of a recycled or reclaimed sweater that I got from Goodwill. <laughs> um, and the bottom is filled with like that color. You can see mm. them down there. And these all needed ends woven in. Oh, you've got them all and done. And I wove them all in. Nice. I hate <laughs> weaving in ends. <laughs> Um, so it's not really an FO, but I'm proud of it. Oh, uh, it makes them FOs now. They weren't until when that's they right. Yeah. That's right. Um, so this was one of the project, one of the 38 whips I'm trying to get through <laughs> this year. This was a um, this is a sweat a scarf. Where's my book? Good gravy. Um, this is a scarf called Men's Scarf with Domino Squares by Drops Design. It is made in Mad Color Fiber Arts Rogue. And the colorway isn't on here, but it's called Changing Channels. So this is the, this is the company, the dyer. And I got this at, um, it is 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon four ply. Um, I used every stitch of it. I literally got down to like that much left <laughs> and finished the project. Just enough to weave in. Yeah. Well, didn't really finish the project. There's supposed to be six <clears throat> squares, but I was only able to get four in. I don't think my gauge was right, but it's a scarf. It's just like four big mitered. They're supposed to be mitered squares, but they turned out more like rectang rectangles. Hmm. But I think that's the blocking. Mm. So, any hoozle, it's just a big wrap and go. A big scarf for Mike. So, another Christmas present <laughs> ready for this coming Christmas. And then slip stitch cowls. So, these were a pattern that I got from... Happy Knits in Skowhegan, Maine during the yarn cruise. And it's just a basic slip stitch pattern using a worsted weight and a bulky weight, a thick and thin bulky weight. This is the one for Kayla. So pretty. It is. I love the colors and the texture. And then this one is for Samantha. This one's so drapey. I know. I just love the colors. Mm. Um, I thought it was kind of neat the way that this, Samantha's, um, you can see like in here, the colors were more matchy-matchy. Mm-hmm. And then this one was very high contrast. Mm. 
So very, very different in, you know, in the way that the two colors work up. Um, the name of the yarn was Juniper Moon Farm Moonshine in Seaside is this one. And Dew is the gray in this one. And then the, the thick and thin bulky weight yarn is Universal Yarns Bamboo Bloom Hand Paints. The color and the colorful and black one in this one is called Stephen Bellius. And this one is Pagoda. And I can't remember what the content was. I didn't write it down and I don't have the... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I think I said it in the project video, but... Very drapey. It almost looks like it has bamboo. I or think it, it in does. It. Yeah, it's um, forty eight percent rayon from bamboo, forty four percent wool, and eight percent acrylic mm. on the thumpy bumpy on thumpy bumpy bumpy chunky yarn. <laughs> and then I think this had alpaca in it. The worsted weight from Juniper Moon is 40% alpaca, 40% wool, 20% silk. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is the drape. <laughs> yeah. And I, I ended up with still quite a fair amount left of yeah. each of the each of the balls. So here's my leftovers. Wow. Yeah. I don't know what those are going to become, but I'm thinking those maybe three go nicely together. I know. <clears throat> I I struggled with whether to do this like do it this way mm -hmm. and this way. Mm. But these just looked better together to me. I don't mm. know. Any whistle, they're done. <laughs> so, the last one is the piece de la resistance. <laughs> this is, I am so in love with this shawl. I'm so mad that I had to make it for someone else. Oh. <laughs> but she lo loves it. Kayla had purchased this yarn to support Julie when she um, ha first opened her shop. She bought um, several skeins of yarn and said, here, Mom, just make me something beautiful. And I did. Yeah, <laughs> it is beautiful. This is Rockefeller by Stephen West, and it is It so, is gorgeous. So pretty. I love it. It is huge. Really long. Yeah. <laughs> But she loves it, and so and do I. And the contrast, yeah. the texture, it's just so good. Those colors. So the colored yarn is um, Dunn Roving Yarn in the Box, uh, Natural U, Blooming Oregano colorway. And then the white is Naked Yarns. It's a Superwash 8020, I think. Um, yeah, I when I originally thought of doing the shawl I actually wanted this part the white part to be the colored part mm -hmm. and have white accents but I cast on wrong like you cast on this section first and I cast on wrong I love it that way so though. I had to just go with it and it's a good thing I did because <clears throat> I ran out of the blooming oregano <laughs> and I had to finish it off with a little a little white tip <laughs> So, yeah, she absolutely loves it. Yeah, absolutely I would think so. So that is what I have for FOs. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's been a slog on these next few whips, let me tell mm. you. So whips. What do you got for whips, Jules? Just the socks. Just the socks? Yeah, that well, the, that's the dedicated ones that are in process. The others are sitting in their bags waiting their turn someday. <laughs> like all of these up here? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I am on the heel. And they're on they're on nine inch circulars, so I'm going to try to <laughs> keep them on those nine inch circulars. I've been watching Needles at the Ready so bad, so so much. You said nine, nine inch circulars, and I expected to hear Ray. Oh. Whenever they mention nine inch circulars, he goes really close to the mic and goes, nine inch circular needles. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Every single time. Oh my gosh. It's hilarious. Huh. So I, I, I thought I heard him for a minute when you said that. All right, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. So this is the 
Sweetheart Socks pattern. This is the pattern by Nitty Natty. Let's see if I can get it's down to so the, the pretty. I'm doing them cuff down. And all those little motifs. We got the oh, we got the yarn in the way there. Let's see if I can get that out of the way. There. So you've got the little hearts first. And then you've got some little like bars. And some what do you want to call those? Squares? Broken squares? I don't know. <laughs> the yellow, they're pretty. Um, the green is kind of rectangles. And we've got a turquoise color with X's. And the purple, hmm, a shape. <laughs> a shape. A shape. <laughs> a a ge geometric shape. I think they're beautiful. I love those colors. They look are so, so eastery. They look eastery. They're they're fun. They're happy. They're springy. Mm -hmm. They just make me so happy when I'm knitting yes, them. Yes, I'll bet. And and their color work. Yeah, and their color work. Um, very easy color work. There's no. I, I think there might have been one motif there that had. It might have been five stitches, and I'm a little fussy with the the floats. I don't typically go over three stitches before I catch the float. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there might have been one motif there that um, I ended up catching the float, but it was for like one row. Mm -hmm. No big deal at all. Um, and then I'm just doing my, you can, in her pattern, she tells you do whatever heel you want. So I'm just doing the, the normal heel flap and gusset that I usually do. So yeah. Fun. She does have you try them on before you start your heel flap. Yeah. They're very snug. <laughs> yeah. I made... Um, I think they're going to work, but they're, they're pretty snug. Um, so I think I'm going to try the trick where after you do your turn, you do a, a couple of extra rounds mm -hmm. um, just to help with it getting over that instep. And then, of course, I'll, I'll block them out to try to make sure. If I... <laughs> I'll be doing another pair. Let's leave it that way for now. <laughs> yeah. And Excuse me. Um, <clears throat> on those, she makes suggestions about going up a needle size when you're doing the color work. Mm -hmm. I went up one needle size, and I think I would go ahead and go up two needle sizes on the next yeah. pair, just to be sure. Um, I don't know. I think maybe part of it is because there aren't as many catching of the floats. I think that might play a little bit of a part because usually in color work I do where you do have sections of long catching of the floats, I tend to leave quite a bit there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's why normally I don't have trouble with color work fitting. Um, so I can definitely see why she's mentioning may have to even go up two needle sizes. Yeah. Uh, by the way, her patterns are very, very good. They're yeah. very well thought out, um, <clears throat> very easy to follow. All the information is there. There's no guesswork with our oh, patterns. Well maybe I'll knit those in palette cleanse Very. after this yeah. project I'm on right now. Oh, what boy. A mess. <laughs> oh, golly. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so that's really the only current in-process knitting. You're monogamous? Like I say, I've got some in bags, but yeah. they're kind of... I, I am just doing one thing at a time. Yep. Trying yep. to get back down to where... I, I don't think I'll, I'll just be one solitary project it will probably always be a pair of socks and then yeah. another yeah thing, but. that's what I've been doing is I've, I've always got a pair of socks in my purse and then I've got the big project at home yep so that's all I've got for whips is the sock which I seem to have lost oh no I've lost my socks ah oh, here we go <laughs> um so I have actually made some progress on the um, Regia Lafoten design line by Arnie and Carlos. The design is by Arlie, Arnie and Carlos. I always say they're my Arnie socks and they're not. <laughs> um, I did finally get to the um, heel on my second sock. Pretty. So I am... Beginning the decreases for the gusset. Um, I do have one sock done already, but he's been done since, I don't know, the dawn of time. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty and colorful. Yeah. I love, I love these self-patterning mm -hmm. by Regia. And even better that it's, on, they're Arnie and Carlos. And I got every single colorway of this when they released and it. I'll tell you, that yarn is fantastic. Oh, yeah. 
it holds up D. These the socks I have on, they're like the second pair of socks that I ever knit. And I have had absolutely no problem with blowouts or nice. wear, wear areas. Because I've been anything. dealing blowouts, let oh, me tell you. With I socks. wear these all the time too, so I can one hundred percent recommend that, yeah. that yarn is hard wearing. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Can't wait to get it done, but now that I don't have to go get Kayla every night, I'm, I haven't been I haven't been doing a lot on them. Um, I get her a couple of nights a week, but the rest mm. of the time her sister gets her. So, yep. anywho, so there's my socks. <sighs> oh, no. This next whip. This doesn't sound like a very happy whip. It is. I'm going to whip it, all right. <laughs> this is... Um, the pattern is, you can see how much trouble I've been having with it. The pattern is, it's a free pattern on Ravelry called Captain. Oh, that's <laughs> got Lincoln's name and his measurements, his chest measurements. <laughs> um, it's by Martin Story. Now, Martin Story is a very well known, very established knitwear designer. Yep. Um, and I'm sure to very well established knitters, his patterns make sense. To me, I had a really, really hard time. I think mm. they are geared towards people who really know what the heck they're doing. <laughs> and I don't. Um, so the yarn I'm using for this is... What you call it? I think it's Arcania. Arcania. Um... The colorway is 1003, which I believe is called greens or something like that. This is an unwrapped skein or an un... Unskeined skein? Un, <laughs> unballed skein. <laughs> it's a bald skein. Um, I love it. I got it really cheap. They had it on clearance at cash. Did we go over an hour already? No, it's... My camera's weird and it just suddenly shut off. So sorry about the break. <laughs> um, I love the yarn. I got it good and cheap uh, during the yarn cruise. Um, I just, I really have had a hard time with the pattern. So mm. here's the back. This has been knit three times. Mm. Um, and then... This is one of the front pieces. Now, the interesting thing is, look at the difference in the way that the yarn mm. knits up. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And then this, this part that I'm working on right now is very, very green. All from the same skein? Um, no. Okay. But it, like, the, the, the skein changes. It's oh, almost semi-gradient. Mm -hmm. So, like, the back was the beginning of the skein very green with pops of blue and it got bluer and then from that same skein I did I did these little <laughs> these little strips yeah <laughs> but this makes sense to me because shorter distance yeah so you're gonna get more concentrated areas of that color pooling yes but you can see how <clears throat> it was bluer here yeah and then it got greener because in in the middle of this in the middle of this one here, like right here, I had to, right here, I had to cast on another ball mm. and then it started to get greener. And then I knit a sleeve. This is a sleeve and you can see how it starts blue mm -hmm. and gets greener. Mm -hmm. And then at that point of that ball, I started the second sleeve and, and it gets quite greener, green. yeah. which is fine. I don't care. Um, so here's the problem. This is sleeve number one. This is sleeve number two. Does anybody see an issue? Well, are you done with one? Yeah. And done with the other? Uh-huh. No way. Uh-huh. Because this one's knit entirely wrong and I have to rip the whole thing out. <gasps> uh-huh. 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 My goodness, how can it be knit wrong? Because Judith doesn't read her pattern. Oh. <laughs> you just got knit happy and kept going? Well, it says um, you knit your, obviously you knit your, your ribbing, and then you be, and this is also knit to be a striped. Mm. And when you, he, he does give non-striped patterns. 
Like for a, a striped version and a non-striped version? Oh, no, he, no, there's the, there's one that has a oh, motif in it and one that doesn't. So I'm knitting it as if there's no motif and instead of doing stripes, I'm just doing it plain. Mm -hmm. So I'm just omitting the chart and I'm omitting the stripes. So Did you not omit the chart on the second one or the first one? No, because the chart's on the chest. Oh. So um, these are the sleeves. Mm. No, it says increase one stitch at each end of fifth and every following sixth row to 69 stitches. Then on every eighth row until there are 75 stitches. I increased at end of fifth and following sixth, not at each end. Oh. So instead of increasing here and increasing there, I only increased here. Oh, so that's why you end up twice as long. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> totally me. <laughs> Not only that, but like he, he uses the same kind of verbiage in the increases and decreases for the back. And that's why this had to be knit three times because the increases around the sleeves and such were very confusing because you increase the, so, so many six rows and five fifth stitch on the 28th row and like you know <laughs> when the moon's in Jupiter you spit on a frog I don't know <laughs> but it was really hard yeah especially for someone who doesn't read ahead in her patterns yeah. I did gauge swatch but any hoozle so Something like that, that kind of instruction, to me, it's it's almost easier just to tell me, okay, so now you're going to knit 50 rows and you need to increase the stitch on either end every 10 rows. Right, right. Yeah. Something just plain, simple language like that. Yeah. That, that makes my brain think too much. Exactly. <laughs> and mine obviously misfired terribly. <laughs> so this is going to be a cardigan for Lincoln. And I chose to use cotton because, and I, I have Google, uh, there's another whip. I'm going to use the same, I'm going to use the same pattern. I know, glutton for punishment, right? <laughs> Light fingering on a US 1 for the ribbing and US 3 for the, mm. for the body. Yeah. This is going to be Miss Dillon's little cotton cardigan. Pretty. Yeah. Um, and the reason I'm doing these is... They come over during the summer and they spend a lot of time at Aunt Joe's pool, which is just down the road from us. And they get out of the pool and they're freezing cold and they need <laughs> something to throw on. And what would be better to throw on than a cotton cardigan mm -hmm. to walk up to Nana's house? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to power through it. <laughs> it's a slog. But you know, you could probably buy some cotton fabric and. I know. I could probably, yeah, I could have probably done it long ago. Love would have been done, and they'd be wearing the darn thing. <clears throat> but I, I'm too stubborn, and I will conquer this darn pattern and make them a knitted mm -hmm. cardigan. Mm -hmm. And the the great thing is, I've worked all the kinks out on Lincoln's cardigan, there so Dylan's will be a breeze. Yeah, right? you'll have all your notations, and you'll be able to go right through. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So. Next That's time you need a simple cardigan, try tin can nets. <laughs> I know, right? I know. You can use their, one of their pullovers and just stick it. This this was free, and it was for the weight of the yarn and the yardage of the yarn that I had. It worked, yeah. And I'm actually, I, I don't think I'm going to use this skein at all. So oh, wow. I'm going to have a couple of skeins left. I have nice. no idea what I'm going to do with them. Probably... If you have one of each of those colors left, something with both of them would be... Very Eastery. Yeah. Would be Eastery. Yeah. Yep. I can make Easter eggs. <laughs> make Easter eggs. No. No more whips. No, you could make some socks with contrasting heels, toes, and toes. Oh, I could do socks with them. Yeah, yeah, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> All right. That is my whips. Um, all my other whips are not actually on needles. They're in bags. Whips and in waiting. Whips in waiting. <laughs> and the sign behind us, um, I'm 
every time I post anything on Instagram, I'm using the hashtag Whipageddon2022. <laughs> so if anybody out there would like to join me, if you have whips that are dying to be done um, <laughs> and would like to share your photos, we'd love to see them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's it for my whips. The only, uh, I don't have any new whips that I've added other than the sea glass tea. I've done a couple of potentials, <laughs> but I haven't actually added it to the 38 stockpile, which is They're down, just down to 31. in your queue in Ravelry. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's it. Um, whips. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Frogs. Anything frogged? Frogs? Did you frog anything? Mm, no. No. I haven't frogged anything either. No. Ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> um, I, just, I feel like there was something else that we were going to do before plunder. But I can't remember it. So plunder away, Julie. I, I only have one plunder. Okay. Plunder. I will plunder first. And then I'll <laughs> grab that dang sweater. Um, I only have one plunder. It's not knitting related, but it's knitting related. <laughs> um, I got these on Amazon. They are cute little washi. Ooh. Wiggly era. There, there we go. go. They are washi stickers to use in my project journal. So I can write the things I need to on these and then stick them in the journal. Nice. Yeah. I just thought they were cute. Yeah. So I thought I'd give them a try. They're washi, so... Because what I've been finding is I'm writing in the journal all my things, and then I don't have any room to put a picture, or I don't have any room uh, for the yarn, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but if I write them on these, and they're washi, I can move them around yeah. and make sure I have enough room for everything. So... Yeah. That's that. Um, I have... I have another plunder, but it isn't here yet. I did plunder some yarn, but it's not here yet. Oh. So that'll be next time. Oh. Um, this is not a plunder, but it's a cool little idea that I thought I'd share. Oh, yeah. These are all of my minis. I made little, like, magic balls out of my minis. And now I've started one because I saw yours and they were you so cool. You have? Yeah. <laughs> so that's one. And then this is the other. And I basically just put them all together with a magic knot. Um, I didn't do it with these, but I'm going to do it with the next ones I make. I have some fray check. Mm. So I am going to add some fray check to the knots just to make sure that they don't come undone. Um, so when I start to wind my others, I will make sure to add the fray check, allow it to dry, and then add the spin away the next one. <laughs> so I also... Took all my little minis, all my um, scraps, and made up some coordinating skeins. Um, well, potential skeins. They're between 95 and 100 grams for each one of these little, this is a very Christmassy one, for each one of these little bundles. So it's just some coordinating skeins that um, I think I can make a 100 around 100 gram fingering weight cake out of and then use them in scrappy projects. Yeah. And just knit till they're gone. Yeah. So that's them. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, I think nine or 10. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Your show. Holy moly. All right. Uh, so I've done lots of lots of acquisitioning. She's naughty. I have been naughty, naughty. Um, but I had a long dry spell. <laughs> you did. You did. So I've very much so. She's made, made up, up for, for it. In <laughs> uh, spades. Yeah, and it, it's it's got to stop because it's becoming a problem. I've redone. When I closed the shop, everything had to come home. <laughs> And I still have shop in just about every room of my house in some form or another. And my my new organization of my yarn is on a big bookcase in my home office I'm working from now. 
And that's full. <laughs> <laughs> know where to put the yarns. I also have <laughs> five of those wooden crates that you get from like Joann's, Michael's, those kind of places. I have those the mounted. Apple crate kind of thing. Yeah, like yeah. a milk crate, an apple crate. Yeah. Um, I have those mounted on the wall and all but two of those are full. Oh dear. And now I have this that I'm going to share that's going to go somewhere and I have at least another amount of probably this yarn much. piggery. Yeah. Oh, it's yarn piggery in <laughs> biggest fashion. I know I have no earthly reason to be acquiring more yarn. Do you have intentions for the yarns you're acquiring? For most of them I do. Okay. For most of them I actually do. <laughs> for some of them they were just too wonderful to pass. Just, just too wonderful. So, this first bag of lovely. Let's see if I can get it right. Ooh, that is so Isn't it pretty. beautiful? I oh. love that blue. I could not resist. This is from Ranching Tradition Fiber. Let's see if I can get the tag up there where we can see it. Ranching oh, Tradition that's Fiber. So pretty. I love the twist on oh, it. Oh, it's it's amazing. It is amazing yarn. It is Rambouillet Targi wool. Um, it's DK, three ounces, uh, approximately three ounces, 250 yards. This is her color turquoise blue. Um, it is so bouncy, so squishy. And I'm pretty sure she said, this This is not saying that it's a hand spun. It looks, I was going to say it yep. looks hand spun. It, it has definite thick and thin. You can see there, there's a very, very hand spun looking section. Yeah. Very thick. Um, so it's it's got that inconsistent, like almost hand spun yeah. type of look not to it. Not overly inconsistent, no. but enough that it's definitely not, it doesn't look it doesn't machine look commercial. spun. Yep. Yeah. And I believe she said it is mill spun, but this wool is all from her sheep. Oh, wow. That she raises. Cool. So it's a Rambouillet Targi cross. Um, yeah, so that beautiful turquoise blue. And then this is uh, just natural. This is all natural and undyed. And it's beautiful. just a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Absolutely so love it. Um, it's so springy. It is. There's so much bounce in that yarn. Uh, it's just, and I love how high the twist is. If you, yeah, it's probably going to be hard to see, but if you look at the twist angle, even though it's only two ply, I think it's going to be pretty darn sturdy. Yeah. Bec yeah, it's going to be hard to see it, isn't it? I think so. Yep. It's got very high twist. Yeah. Take my word for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you get a chance to check her out, it's Cami Noise. She is um, ranchingtraditionfiber at gmail.com, and she does have a website, ranchingtraditionfiber.com. Nice. Uh, and she's Ranching Tradition Fiber on Instagram. So that is that one. And I don't have a, a dedicated purpose for that yet. It was just too beautiful to pass up. Right. <laughs> Um, okay, there's a couple of non-yarn things, so I might as well do those. <laughs> Does anybody else ha hate casting off purl stitches? I hate casting off purl stitches. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I hate it. So this is a cute little mug. I I'm sorry, but I cannot remember where I got it from. Um, it may have just... I don't think it was Amazon. I honestly don't. And I'm so sorry. I can't remember where I ordered it from. But I just thought it was a cute it's little super mug. Cute. It's how much yarn do you need? So this is you got the label from Lion Brand in there. And it just tells you how much yarn you need for making different projects based on the weight of the yarn. And it. the what is it? And the garment that you want to make. And you got so, me one. I have one in my yeah, cupboard. I got, got that's a that's our for. yarny adventure mug. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely need to take that on their yarn adventures. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see. Um, trying to remember. Uh, oh, my goodness. Isn't that horrible when I can't remember the names? Um, because this is part of the... Oh, Mandy's Makings. There we go. It finally came. <laughs> Mandy's Makings on Instagram. She uh, is this year doing a themed monthly 
yarn and it's it's got an inspiration photo from the Wizard of Oz movie. Oh, cool. Yeah. I was not fast enough to get her January, oh, which really bummed me out. But I did get in on her February. Was it February or March? Yes, I think it was February, which I have not got yet, but um, on its way. Anyway, there are some other um, fiber community folks that are kind of hopping on the bandwagon yeah. with the Wizard of Oz. And one of them is Fangirl Fibers. And these wonderful little stitch oh, markers. Oh, I love it. It's got Dorothy, the w two different witches, the Tin Man, Cowardly Lion, and the Scarecrow. Love it. And I just think it's the cutest little set. Those are adorable. So those will go with my Mandy's Makings yarn when it shows up. Uh, I also found something that was, I thought, just too cute. I, I don't even know why I went on Etsy and searched for Wizard of Oz, but I did. <laughs> and it caused a problem. <laughs> oh, dear. Not a big problem, actually. Um, I'm trying to remember who... Two, 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 two. Can I remember? I'm trying to remember her name. She, she actually sent it from her personal address, so I don't want to share that. Um, I want to say it's Book Jewel. Uh, book J O O L on Etsy. Oh, neat. She has cute little charms. Hopefully, I can get this right so you can see it. Oh, and that's it's got cute. Dorothy. So she takes the uh, she takes the frame and and puts that picture in there with an, a like a resin coating yeah. on it, so it's kind of preserved in there. That's cute. And she has all the different characters. But Dorothy, of course, is my favorite, yep. so had to get a Dorothy. Love it. So that will go with my Mandy's Makings Adventures in Wizard of Oz. And it, the fascination with Wizard of Oz is that we come from Kansas. Yep. And uh, were you I, called Dorothy in school? <laughs> Me too. I called Dorothy in school. Me too. Yeah. Um, now I think it's kind of cute. Then it really made me angry. Yeah. <laughs> um, because a lot of times you'd have people say, oh, you're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I heard that in grade school. <laughs> Lord. Yeah. Well, by the time we got here, you were in high school. Yes. I was only in the third grade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but now I think it's kind of a, a cute thing. I don't yeah. mind it. I, yeah. I'll, I'll claim that Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> um... I did this year subscribe to Row One Yarn, which is a minis, a monthly minis club. Mm. And I really am liking this. So the, it comes in a, in its own little bag, Row One Yarn. And then they come packaged. Every month is a different dyer. I love these. Aren't they, they're, they're so, so good. Pretty. And you know, like the colors are all so good. The thing I like is that each one of these minis has its own little band yeah. with the colorway on it. So if I love, oh, if I love this color, I can look at the band and see what the color is. Go to the website, uh, Murky Depths. And the dyer this time, Murky Depths is the dyer. The color is for Beatrice. So by having those all labeled like that, I can go see if she That's has awesome. that colorway available. Oh, so I'm really me. enjoying the Row One yarns. I, the, I've only had a couple of them so far, but They're both have been stunning. really beautiful stunning. colorways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go with... Go with one of our faves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so jelly. Yeah. Um, so this was... Okay, so first, what spurred this? Look at this gorgeousness. Mm. Unreal, right? So pretty. So gorgeous. It's just the, the deep rust colors and that bright turquoise and just... Oh, it's beautiful. So... Yeah. This is, I think this was one of the very first colorways. I think so. That she had. Um, in fact, I've still got the tag, which is 
like the, her original tag, A Yarn to Die For. Cool. And this is her Patina and Rust colorway. And it's so good. It's a 75-25 fingering. So I had this one and I loved it, but I wouldn't use it because I haven't seen Ridiculous. her have the colorway again. I was like, it's too beautiful. I can't use it. <laughs> so I contacted Robin and I said, do you think you could still dye that patina and rust and colorway? Of course she did. She could certainly try, yeah. she said. I, I Knowing full well that over time, you know, everything could change. Yeah, your your yeah. product that you use to I'm dye sure could change. I'm sure it's not the same base. Could, yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. could be different. Yeah. Totally okay with that. Um, you know, I don't don't expect it to be an exact match or anything like that. I just wanted to capture that colorway again. Yeah. <laughs> so, I actually I have th I have three here, <laughs> but I did order order four. Um, and I ordered these in the uh, DK weight, which is her Taurus base, and it's 100% superwash wool, high twist. I do love a high twist yep. yarn, yep. so it is a high twist, and so I have four skeins of beautiful, so pretty. beautiful. It's yeah. very, very close to the original. It really is, yeah. yeah. I think the only difference is there's not quite as much of the deep rust. Yeah. It's more of a speckling of the deep rust. But there rust. might be, like, if you, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? once like I kick it up, it's going to look it, all together different. Yeah. yeah, and, like, you've got some really dark speckly mm -hmm. bits in there. So you might find that, it, you know, there's some hidden gemmage oh, in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look Once at I that. kick it up, yeah. it's going to look all together different, too. Yeah. So. I love I her know. yarn. I do too. So that's her new tag. She's a yarn to die for, uh, yarn to die for designs, and she is on Etsy. So you can find her under that name on Etsy. She is a wonderful, wonderful person. Yes, she um, is. I love so her. sweet, so, so nice. kind. Yeah. So that was a very, very happy purchase, and no specific um, design in mind when I got it. However. I don't have it with me. What a dummy. I haven't cast it on yet, but I am going to do the sea glass sweater. I've pretty much picked out everything, but when that came, it was like, oh, that's going into the sea glass sweater. <laughs> so one of, the, one of the skeins is... One of the skeins has yeah. been pulled for that because nice. it's just going to work so well with everything else that I pulled for that sweater. So Nice. nice. Yeah. Really cool. Okay. Next. We're going to run out of memory card. Oh my. Snap, right. snap, snap, snap. Move it up, move it up. All right, next, from Crazy Sock Lady Designs, or Crazy oh. Sock Lady Co. Yeah. This, she she gets in different... I've never different, seen her yarn. Uh, yeah, she gets it from different different dyers. Oh, oh. So she's, like, she's trying to help out. Yeah, yeah she's yep. focused. Yep, so this one is Polka Dot Creek. And this so colorway speckly. is Knit Night. This is a DK, their classic DK, called Knit Night. Then we have Leap of Faith yarn. Oh, Very pretty. Yeah. Love the colors. That's really pretty. And this one is Napa Valley. Very appropriate. Oh my gosh, yes. Captured it perfectly yes. there, huh? Yes. <laughs> um, she also has quite a variety of stitch markers, progress keepers and such on her website, uh, crazysockladyco.com. And so this is one of them that I've really liked. It's a, it's oh, a cool. shiny, glittery little pink stocking. Pink stocking. Yeah. So that is my Crazy Sock Lady Co. acquisitions. You um, should see the box at her feet. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Um, another person, and I did a test knit for her, Lovely by Lee. That's her uh, handle on Instagram. And she had a like a D-stash going on. So I got a couple of her skeins. That's her tag, Lovely by Lee. That's pretty. Is that worsted? That's the colorway. This is uh, uh Worsted. Worsted, worsted. worsted yes. Yeah. Yep, and this is her colorway potion. Very pretty. Mm. And then we have a very sparkly tag on this one. Must have been a holiday. Yeah, holiday edition, I guess. Edition. It's a beautiful red. It is. It's garnet. 
very appropriate. Um, this one is a Peruvian wool, and this is a bulky. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I guess I gotta go up a little higher. There we go. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that one's gorgeous. Okay. It's looking, it looks very red on the camera, but it's it's burgundy. very deep. Yeah, very deep. Um, this was, and I don't know why it has different labels, but it does. Um, when I was gonna do the sea glass sweater on the screen things that tend to look a little different on the screen and I thought this was going to be a color that I would use as my main color in my sea glass sweater but turns out it's a little it's bit too, too peachy. peachy yeah um it is the lion brand um superwash merino 100% superwash merino um, color zero three, but it is just a little bit too peachy yeah. for my yeah. sea glass sweater. That's very, it's so, very more peachy than pink. Yeah. Not sure what that will be, but it's, it's a nice high twist yarn. I'll find a good use for that. I also had, <laughs> um, Oh, I'm going to maritime family fiber. Yeah. Um, they weren't, I, I just, I love them. They're, She's a sweetheart, and every month she has a different colorway that is the colorway of the month, and that this was the February color of the month. This is Briggs and Little Regal, so this is a DK, if I remember right. I think it's it. Or is it Sport? I think it might, it might be Sport. I think Regal is Sport. Yep. Yeah. Um, this was the Briar Rose colorway. And it's it is a more rustic yarn. You made your spark cardigan out of that out of that same not the color but the right, same right the regal yarn. yarn. Yeah, yeah, my spark yeah. cardigan is out of that. So uh, yeah, sometimes her colorway of the month is just too good, and I have yeah. to have some. <laughs> yeah. So no specific purpose for this yet, but it's pink. It's so pink and it's if pretty. all else fails, it'll be a Kinsey something. There you go. <laughs> It's pink and it's pretty. Yeah, it's pink and pretty. I've got to have a lot of a theme of pink and pretty yeah, going I on. I see that. Right <laughs> so, Granite State Yarns. I love her yarns. And she had this gorgeous sock set. That's her label. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that just beautiful? That is so pretty. Real bright, bright pink and then a deeper rose pink. I love it. Um, that colorway is Sweetheart with a Kiss Mini. A Kiss Mini. Yeah, I think that's going to mm -hmm. be some beautiful socks. She always includes a little goodie too, so I got a bag of tea in there. Nice. Yeah. You can't go wrong with tea. Nope. And can't go wrong with sock sets. I'm, yep. You know I'm going to make sock sets. Yeah. And I mentioned the gorgeous Randy yarn yes. that she has. So, <laughs> I'm ridiculous. There's the Randy. There's Randy. All in his glory. Yeah. For <laughs> skin. And these were named after a Christmas story, right? The, the Randy from a Christmas story? I believe so, yeah. 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 It was Randy and Ralph. Randy and Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. Ralph was the, the green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Ralphie's cool. the one with the glasses, and Randy is the. I can't put my arms down. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> the main character, right? No, he's no. the younger brother. The younger Ralphie brother. Ralphie is the main okay. character. Yeah, okay. I'm not really into that movie. I, we you watch have it every to be single <laughs> holiday, Christmas Eve, Chinese food, and Christmas story. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, pretty twisted yarns. She was having a like a stash sale as well, and she had these two beautiful colors. Ooh, they're um, Malabrigo. Malabrigo, yeah. Tilt it forward just to just get it. rid of that glare. There, you there go. we go. There you go. So those Ugh. colors are just right up my alley. Yeah. Yep. Teal feather and English rose. Love it. One is a single ply, which normally I don't get single plies, but that color. Yeah. It was amazing. Single plies make beautiful shawls. Yes. Or cowls. Yep. Or... yep. Anything like that that's not going to get quite as much wear and tear. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Hypnotic yarn. This is not a yarnable. She just had <laughs> sent a notification that she did. She just did a shop update and I'm dying. Oh no. I haven't looked yet. I, I saw looked she sent and an I email. I closed but... the browser. Yeah. So every month in that Yarnable box subscription, we get a little card and it has a little discount of some yep. sort that you can take advantage of. Yep. So she had this beautiful uh, what is highway. That? Is that the coffee one? Uh, this one is, 
wild at heart. Oh. Just those little pops so of real pretty. deep reds yeah. in there. Oh my gosh. It's just so pretty. I love it. Yeah. So this is the 8515 Merino Nylon and it's fingering. Oh, and, and that, that look, it's a little leopard pouch. print pouch. <laughs> wild at heart. Love it. <laughs> just the cutest little pouch. Love it. All right. How am I doing? Speed up? Uh, you got about 14 minutes. Holy moly. On the card, we might have to go to the iPad here. Let's go fast. All right, so we got Moon Glow Yarn Co. She's oh. also another favorite. Um, and she has an amazingly gorgeous red as well. I'm on this red kick lately. You are. You are on a red kick. <laughs> Here, you read, you read labels. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll read try labels. to get the right, the right color for okay. you. Okay, so this is her um, Merino DK, Superwash Merino. It is um, 231 yards. It's, it's a fairly high twist. So I think it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful yarn. And it's just, it's showing real yeah. orangey red. Yeah, but it's not. It's a it real is a true deep. red, primary red. It, it might, it, on the monitor, it might be showing us a yeah. bright, but on the, like, when we post this, it's probably going to be the right red. It's yeah, so pretty. Oh, love just it. Just on a red kick <laughs> Well, okay. you were in the hunt for, like, the right red for the longest time. Oh, yeah. You finally found it. Yeah. You got it. I found a couple of them. <laughs> This is another one of my favorites. This is Knitters Without Borders. Oh, she's so sweet. She is amazing. She is so sweet. And she gets in some of the most beautiful yarns from all over out of the United States yeah. that you're not going to typically find. Um, this one is Perica yarn. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Oh, that's pretty. And yeah, I, I probably should take one out just because of the fuzz factor and the, the oh, I feel that. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, isn't that unreal? Wow. All right. Activate squish vision Yeah. That is Surrey Al, that. baby Surrey Alpaca. Oh my gosh. And it's just got the, the hint of a blushy pink in there yeah. with it. Yeah. Like a raspberry pink. Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just amazing. I absolutely okay, love it. 14 minutes of squishing alpaca fuzzy. Oh, uh, yeah. That yeah, was yeah. lovely. Yeah. Well worth it. And she always includes a, a little extras. Extras. Extra little extra sweet things. Yeah. She's so sweet. Oh, uh, excuse let's me. Let's see who else we got here. Okay, this one is uh, I need breaking. a refresher. <laughs> Ooh, after all that. Wait till I get done talking, I'll be hoarse. <laughs> So breaking yarn. I had not heard of this dyer, and I don't remember who I saw her with. It, it may have been Crazy Sock Lady had some of mm -hmm. her yarn, um, but she had some yarn recently <gasps> that. Ooh, that's so pretty. That's so you. <laughs> yeah. So that's here's the so label. You. Breaking yarn. And look at that color. I love it. That is Isn't so that you. Beautiful. Oh. So that is her DK weight, Swish DK weight, and that colorway is Breaking Blue. Um, yeah, just all Beautiful. of my colors right in one skein, all in a nice little I mix. I love that she uses the periodic table Isn't that in, cute? Her, in her logo. I love and it. And she's a huge fan of Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah? yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you'll see a lot of references with her colorways to that, yeah. that show. Yeah. In fact... <laughs> Oh, I'm Lord. ridiculous. She had nice minis. I mean, sometimes you only find the minis in all those, you know, crazy colors and yeah, and hard to find a solid mini. Yeah, yeah. and grays and blacks. You'd think that they would be a dime a dozen, yeah. but they're not that easy to find. <laughs> nice. So her black is Jane Margolis, uh -huh. <laughs> and the gray is Gray Matter. Nice. <laughs> So that was really fun to find those. And last from her. And then. And then. So breaking yarn again. And look at that color. It's showing quite blue. Very blue. Hold it back just a wee. Let's see if that makes a difference. Uh, it's, it's quite turquoise actually. Yeah, it is very turquoise. And it might yeah. show up that way once right. we download the video. 
It's called crystal meth. Oh, Lord. <laughs> And this is a DK weight as well. That's yarn to you right now. Yeah. <laughs> yarn is your crystal I, map. Yes, I guess I am very addicted right now. Good Usually Lord. I'm pretty good at resisting, but there has just been too much Well, goodness. you've been in a drought. <laughs> I broke that spell. <laughs> okay, a little bit more Moon Glow Yarn Co. She had a D-stash going oh, on on Ravelry. that's beautiful. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. It is just too good. I love that. So that is um, Sweet Fiber Yarns, which I had not heard of, Sweet Fiber Yarns. Um, it's their Merino Twist DK. Um, yeah, it's 100% Superwash Merino. And with 230, no, 260 yards on each of those, and there is one, two, three, four... I think the fifth one might might be a partial, but I'm not 100% mm -hmm. sure. But, I mean, there's Beautiful. a lot of yardage. Yeah. There. I think it was like 1,300 yards total wow. is what she said. That's a sweater. It could be a sweater. Excuse me. I also have from Moon Glow Yarn Co. Oh, Yonko. Lord. Since I love... Because one's not good no, enough. No, one, one's not enough. I'll tell you, if you get the Sweetheart sock set, you will be in the same boat that I am in. <laughs> one is definitely not enough. <laughs> the so colors good. are just so happy. I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. And the last two acquisitions are oh, books. Oh, I think I have those. Yeah, I think that's where I get the idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was looking at my bookshelf, but they're out with the spinning, oh. spinning supply stuff. Yeah. That's what I forgot. Spinning. Okay, oh. Sorry. We'll go back to it. So I had to have the Spinner's Book of Fleece. Lovely. I think that will be a nice resource for yeah. the different yes. um, fibers that I want to spin. Both of these books are amazeballs. And... I do want to get a better handle on how do I get the yarn I want to get. Yes. So I think this is going to be a great book for that. Yep. Or yep. the texture. It's, it, and it's Jillian Marino. How can you go wrong? <laughs> how can you go wrong? She is yep. amazing. Yep. She has some great classes on Craftsy, too. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's check that out, too. Um, She did a... What was she? She did a... um collaboration podcast video thing with Andrea Mowry not too long ago. Oh, okay. Because Andrea's really getting into spinning and yes. stuff. And so she was, she did a video with her. Ah. Um, so speaking of spinning, because I forgot. Oh, are you done? I'm done. Uh, is your yarn I, piggery I, over? I reached the bottom of my toe. Holy cow. There's a bottom? <laughs> there was a bottom. <laughs> um, spinning. I have actually been doing a wee bit of spinning. I finally finished my... Silk and linen roll ags. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, so this is this was out of the par the September Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box, and I spun the single. I bl put it on the blending board and then made roll ags, spun singles, and I just plied this today. Two ply or three? Two ply. I had just a wee bit left over that I chain plied, um, that didn't you know was on one of the bobbins. That that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good amount. Mm. And that, you when you held that piece out, the drape. Yeah. And when you, with that linen in there, when that gets washed the first yeah. time, it's going to be even more drapey. I, I hated spinning it. Yeah. I hated spinning I, it. I hear linen is, I haven't tried. I, I did. Linen the, is just the linen not the The linen wasn't bad. It, it wasn't bad. I think, and the fiber wasn't bad. Like the, the silk was silky soft and amazing. The linen really wasn't that bad. Um. But I think I learned a lesson in fiber preparation and putting it on the blending board and then rolling it into tight roll ags, it really made it hard to, to draft it. out okay. the yeah. silk and, and the linen. So I've got some, you know, I've got some lumpy bits. There's, you know, there's some places where you've got some, you know, big old hunks of linen and big old hunks of um, silk. Oh. But it's fine. Yeah. Like it was it was a nice experiment. It was a good learning experience. And it's gonna be such a soft, like squish it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. And once it, <laughs> it's washed, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um so, so if if you weren't if you were to do that again, would you just do from a bat rather than a roll I, egg? I think rather than doing the roll egg, I think I would do ooh, what's going on? Oh, we're running out of film. Oh, boy. We're running out of film. It just flashed me. Mm. Um, 
I don't, I think I would put it on a Carter and really blend it a lot better oh, okay. than on a Rolag or, or on a, a blending board where you really can't mm -hmm. blend the fibers very well. Either that or I would diz it mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. a roving instead of a Pencil roll lag. or something. Yeah. 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 So that's my spinning. That's all I've done for spinning. You? I have done none. 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 When the weather gets better, it'll be a lot easier. I'll do a lot of spinning out on the deck. Yeah, and like I say, once I get my shop settled and out of my house, I'll yeah. have more room, too. Yeah. <laughs> so that's plunder, and we have about five minutes left. So probably a good time to wrap it up before we get so. cut off. <laughs> any recommendations? Do you have any recommendations? Anything you've seen or done lately? That Everything you want that I acquired. <laughs> Every one of the people Outs I bought from outside of yarn, <laughs> Out, outside of yarn, I haven't done anything else. So work <laughs> and buy yarn. <laughs> anything you've watched, anything you've read, anything you've ate? No. Okay. Oh, um, Mary Ruth's Organics. I'm trying their multivitamins. Their their multivitamins are in liquid form. Oh. And where I have that genetic thing to metabolize bees and detox, my body doesn't do that right. This is supplying the bees in the form that my body needs and supposed to help with nice. that. Um, I do think I'm feeling, I've been doing it for about a month now, and I do feel like I might have a little more energy. Cool. So, yeah. That's good. Good to check good out. Good Get them right on Amazon. Good Mary Ruth's Organics. <laughs> Mary Ruth's Organics. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, I have just one recommendation. I, ha I fight with sinusitis every mm. winter. And so I have a, a humidifier going. We have a high iron um, and hard water. So we get a slime inside of the humidifier. And so I found these. Um, they are called uh, Cool Mist Humidifier Cleaners. Um, I can't remember the name of the company, but I found them on Amazon. So there's two, two types. There's a little, a little black, little beady thing, and a little blue, and you just drop them inside your humidifier, and they last for 30 days. One of each, or one just... of each. Oh, huh. yep. Yeah. And then you just change them out after 30 days, and it has kept my humidifier nice and clean and not slimy. Please send me the link. I will. <laughs> Indeed, I will. And I just watched some new movies. Um, we'll try to make this quick. Uh, Netflix has a new movie, I don't know if it's new new, but it's new to me, called The Dig I watched today. It's about um, an archaeological find on a farm. It's just, it's during World War II. It's just, it's amazing. Watch it. It's lovely. And then Silver Skates, it's a little hard to follow because it is, they're mouthing the words in Russian, the audio oh. is in English, and the subtitles don't match. <laughs> So it's kind of funny to follow, but it's a very good storyline. So those are two movie recommendations. And we are going to run out of time. Mm. So if you've hung out with us this long, holy cow, you are Thank a trooper. You. And we love you to pieces. I hope you enjoy this new format. I hope it's not too wacky wonky. <laughs> but right. we are nutty. So. We are wacky wonky. Right. That's That's our jam. <laughs> So, until next time, stay, stay nutty, nutty and, and keep, keep knitting. knitting. Bye! Bye. <laughs>